Does your headliner look like this? Let's fix that right now. Okay, messing around trying to get the headliner out, it looks like these are going to be in the way, so go ahead and remove those just by pinching them together and pulling them out. So then the next item of business is removing these two pieces. This is actually pretty simple. Just take a flat bladed screwdriver, push it in, rotate, and it comes right out. Okay, so for the next part, I would recommend you take a bit of masking tape and put it on both sides here. Because what you're actually going to do is get this piece to kind of pop out and also pop this piece out. And this piece is going to slide down in to there, allowing access for you to remove the headliner. So this is pretty simple. All you have to do is pull back the weather strip a little bit, grab this around the edge, give it a little tug. You see that comes out. And see, this is where you want to have that tape protecting because that's going to be rubbing on the outside. To get the top piece out, what you've got to do is flip this down. Again, take your little screwdriver, carefully pry to remove that. There's a Phillips head screw remove that screw. Once that's removed, again carefully, I say carefully, you're going to have to put a little pressure behind it, but don't like jerk it really hard or be too rough with it because you don't want to break or disfigure your handles obviously. I wouldn't pull too much on this if you can avoid it. little bit challenging but just keep working with it it'll let go eventually but anyways once you get done I'm not gonna sit here and fumble around with it on camera it's looking like a monkey but once you get this popped out what you've got to do is just back here underneath the airbag thing there'll be a little black clip you're gonna have to get that out so once I get all this done I'll show you how to get that clip don't know how well you can actually see that, but this is that fabled clip that I was speaking of just a moment ago. If you have one of these tools, it will probably make your life about a thousand times easier removing that. All you've got to do is pop that little button up there, kind of stick this underneath, and pull it out. Try not to pull too much around on this thing, because it's just kind of like a rubber piece. You don't want to disfigure that too badly. So that is this side completely removed just about ready to come down. I'm going to do the other side and uh, see if we can get this headliner out of here. So actually I had to go ahead and remove the two A-arms and as you can see, oh also there were a couple of uh, velcro pieces holding it in. You can see the two right there and there's a little lip here that you have to kind of slide back that uh, goes underneath this piece right here and that's kind of holding it up to the, uh, the sunroof, that's the word I'm looking for. I suspect the same thing is happening right here in the back, so what you're gonna have to do is slide everything rearward for that to come out of that lip, and then it looks like it's just gonna come out after that. So I'm gonna finagle that for a few minutes. Oh, there we go. It's out. And one side's out, let's try to get this side out. 
So yeah, just finagle it for a few minutes, and it looks like it's gonna fall right out after that. Make sure you don't damage the uh, underlying part of this, the stiff part, because you're gonna have to reuse that. You're gonna peel out the outside coating and the, uh, the foam and all this droopy stuff, but what's underneath the structure, that needs to remain intact. So try not to bend that, fold that, crease that, break it, anything like that. Be very gentle with it. So yeah, actually after only about 30 seconds of messing around, you can see the headliner is separated from the rear windshield area. There were three clips here, here, and here that you had to kind of pop out, those little plastic clips. I don't think you can see them, and I don't want to try to pull down too hard on it and uh, mess up the headliner in the process. But yeah, this thing's free. It's just a matter of maneuvering it out of the car and uh, starting to replace the actual fabric. So I've got my first coat down, and I can see what they mean about um, going in different directions when you're spraying this on. This stuff, I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of sprays like in a up and down pattern like that. So make sure you hit all the areas here. Make sure you hit everything really well up inside this pocket here and all that. Give it some time to tack up, like I said, make sure you follow the directions. Okay, so if you were stupid like me and you got this crap all over your hands when you were cleaning this off, Go grab some dish soap and wash your hands really good. Get all that junk off your hands because you don't want to get that sticky shit all over your new headliner. So what I've done is taken the new headliner. I got this off eBay. It was like $26 shipped to my front door. Figured I'd give it a shot. And I got this stuff off Amazon. I believe it was, I don't know, 10 or 15 bucks. I don't remember the exact price to have it shipped as well. It's really important that A, you follow the directions on this and B, you buy a very good headliner material or adhesive to hold this on because I read up on this before doing it and a lot of people were complaining that the adhesive was not holding over time and I don't want to have to do this again this is a pain in the butt so uh, the directions say to spray a coat one direction let it dry for five minutes spray it in another direction let it dry for five minutes put several coats on it like that it doesn't specify exactly how many coats so I'm gonna do like three um, and I'm gonna do it on this side first and then bring it over, lay everything down, then flip up the other side and do the other side. Because uh, that's just how I want to do it. I want to make sure everything stayed centered. Also, the pattern in the headliner, I just looked in the car, goes transversely like this. So you want to make sure you line up that pattern the same way. You don't want to have it go in the opposite direction from the, uh, what is it? That's the word I'm looking for, sunroof. Yeah, you don't want to have it going separate from the sunroof because I'm not changing the sunroof. It's not sagging. I'm not going to mess with it. So that's what I'm going to do now. Start spraying that adhesive on.
Okay, so I'm in a pretty tight spot right now because I was trying to adhere to the instructions. It said wait five minutes before you uh, start putting the stuff down. And I tell you what, that gives you absolutely no time to do anything because that as soon as you put this on here, it sticks and it's not coming off. So like right in this area when I was trying to tuck it down in there, I couldn't get it to stretch down because it, the glue had already adhered to the damn thing. So yeah. I don't know where you're going to be at when you're working on this, but I'm down here in Orlando, Florida, where it's like 90 degrees out. This shit dries super fast. So just be aware of that. I'm going to have to... I was barely able to get this back off of here without ruining the headliner material. So I'm going to go give this a few more sprays and then try to tuck it back down in there because that stuff just dried really quick. I mean, you can see right here, if you try to pull on it, that's going to just destroy the headliner at this point. So I can't pull it back any further. It's on there. So two things learned. A, don't let it sit there if you're in a hot environment for a few minutes before working on it because you're never going to be able to work with it. And two, this is a pretty good adhesive apparently. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this and uh, do the other side after that. Also, I had to relocate because it was windy over there. So I'm kind of like in a nook around my shed. The wind was just trying to blow this thing all over the place. And that was also creating a huge headache for me trying to do this. So yeah, I'm gonna do the, redo this part and then do the other side. So as you can see, what I've got here is uh, it's all adhered to the one side. So I'm just gonna come back, spray some adhesive around the edges, and then just fold it over and trim off any excess that's gonna still be on there. And then I'm going to go take this thing uh, back to the car. I'm going to clean up the inside of the car first because uh, when I took it out, some of the glue got all over the seats and stuff like that. And what I don't want to have happen is uh, when I go to put this back in, this gets that glue all over it. So I'm going to go clean the interior panels of the car, the seats, anywhere else that old glue got all over when I was getting it out. And uh, yeah, then I'll show you guys how, to, how I put it back in. It's actually pretty easy. You just got to crease it just a little bit. But um, I'm going to do all that, and I'll see you in a minute. So now that you've got everything laid down, the next step is to come back in and trim around all your openings. I'm going to start by just making a small hole here. And trimming around the actual edge. I guess I didn't have to make that small hole first. It just kind of made me feel better to do it that way. Just so I can kind of visualize and know what I was doing. Also having a sharp razor blade might be helpful during this part. But anyways, you get the idea. Just kind of go around the uh, openings, the sunroof opening, uh, the opening for the lights, the openings for the um, the, uh, the holes for the handrails, and all that good stuff. And just kind of do this, make sure that everything's pushed down in there really good as well as you're doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The next step after that would be to trim off the edges. But you want to leave a little bit of overhang. I'm not sure exactly how much, but maybe the width of your fingernail. Because you're going to want to wrap that around the back side to make sure, you know, that you get good coverage around that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, go around the edges and everything and uh, get ready to flip it over so I can do that. This part here also, make sure, because that's going to have to fold around in there as well. So make sure you don't cut too close to the edge of the sunroof opening. Okay? Okay, so you've got your headliner all ready to be installed back in the car. A few things I want to note is there is a lip underneath the rear side and a lip here. And uh, there's a lip around the front side as well. I don't remember the lip around the front side actually being tucked up in anything when I removed it, but we'll find out. So just be aware that you may need to cut that back a little bit to expose that. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to show you how to get it back in the car. All right, so here's how you get the headliner in and out of the car.
All right, so this is the headliner after getting everything reinstalled. Doesn't look terrible, doesn't look perfect, but you know what? It only cost about $40 to do it. And uh, it's about 150 bucks for one of those mobile headliner repair people to come and do it. So, I would say it comes down to how good you want your headliner to look. If you want it to look like a professional did it, then, uh, you know, pay a professional to do it. If you don't mind it looking like this, and this took me about three hours, but I was stopping to make video as well. So, without the stopping to do video, maybe two hours? I don't know. So, if you don't mind giving up a few hours and saving about a hundred bucks, you can do it yourself. Only cost you about forty dollars, or if you want it to look a little nicer and don't want to fool around with it, then uh, just pay someone to do it. It's only about 150, 160 bucks around here when I called around. Um, this car we're only going to have for probably about another year, I think. My wife wants to get a Cadillac, actually. And I told her I'd help her buy whatever car she wanted when I'm done with school. So, this car is probably not going to be around too much longer. But I didn't want it ruining the seats in the meantime. So, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, make sure you check out the rest of my page. I've got about 200 videos on how to do stuff at this point. So, uh, lots of stuff to know. Make sure you subscribe to my page as well and share it with your friends. Thank you very much.